So what does an IT infrastructure manager do? They do a lot. How you doing? My name is Emilio. I work in tech. We are talking about the infrastructure manager. We're going to cut this into two different parts. One being the manager responsibilities. They're going to do a lot of things that are managerial. And then because they are responsible for infrastructure, they're going to be responsible for a lot of the tech in technology. There's a lot of stuff in there. So before we do get into this, why don't you let me know in the comments, are you yourself in technology? Are you a manager of some sort? Are you a tech? Are you in systems or networking or development or something else? Why don't you let me know below? Hey, and so that you don't miss out on anything that I'm releasing, I release videos every single week. Do also remember to click on that subscribe button and on the bell as well so that you get notified when new videos are released. So let's just define the manager in technology, the IT manager as a whole. You've maybe heard IT manager, you've heard operations manager, you've heard infrastructure manager, security manager, development manager, and they all do their own separate thing. Different managers have different roles, different responsibilities. In different companies, different managers will do different things. Smaller companies may not have a infrastructure manager, they may just have an IT manager. Some larger companies may have an infrastructure manager, an operations manager, a security manager, or others. So it really depends on the size of the organization and the IT footprint or setup in a company. So the infrastructure manager, well, they're ultimately responsible for everything that is infrastructure related. The setup, the design, maintenance, decommissioning of anything that is infrastructure related. Now it's not very common, but the infrastructure manager will not generally interact with the end user their responsibility is with infrastructure, with level three. Well, level one and level two fall generally on the lap of somebody like an operations manager or a help desk manager or a service desk manager, something similar like that. So they're the ones who are gonna be dealing with the end users, with the computers, with the laptops, with the phones, with the video conferencing, all of that falls into level one, level two. Infrastructure manager falls into level three. So let's firstly define their manager responsibilities and then we'll talk about their tech specifically. They're responsible for making sure that everything is designed correctly, that everything is maintained, that everything is patched, that everything is labeled, that everything there is set up correctly. They may be responsible for writing up roadmaps and strategies, for doing IT budget, being in a lot of meetings with a lot of different people, with IT techs, with other managers, with directors, with chief executives, with board members, presenting reports to various people. They're likely gonna be dealing with a lot of different sorts of customers and a lot of vendors. Customers could be internal, so the staff in an organization, staff in other organizations. They're also gonna be dealing with a lot of vendors. And because they are a manager, it's very, very common that an infrastructure manager may have staff working for them. So the techs that are gonna be reporting into a infrastructure manager are what's gonna be called a level three. So a level one, two, and three are sort of the three levels in uh, IT support. So level one is being your help desk, your sort of service desk sort of people. Level two being more desktop support, sys support analysts, those sort of roles. And then level three are more infrastructure focused. So they're gonna be dealing with systems engineers, systems administrators, network people, security people, database people, all of those sort of fall into level three. Making sure that they are trained, making sure that they are doing what they need to be doing, writing performance reviews for them, approving their leave, making sure that they are performing correctly. So those are the common manager traits that infrastructure manager will have. And of course, other IT manager types could also have those same traits and we'll probably need those traits in some way. Hey, before we get into the part two, which is we're talking about the tech, if you wanna become a manager, an IT manager of some sort, infrastructure manager or a different sort of IT manager, in the description below, I've got a link to a full length IT manager training course. I titled it from tech to manager. So if you're interested in knowing what an IT manager does, an infrastructure manager in a lot more detail and the skills that you need, check that out. I know you'll find it helpful. Infrastructure manager is responsible in managing all of the infrastructure. So this is all of the stuff, and this is where we move into number two, the tech. Here we've got servers, physical servers. So physical servers that are racked. So rack servers, blade servers, tower servers, and then of course, virtual servers. Now virtual servers sit on multiple physical servers, and these are just virtual versions of these servers. You can have multiple virtual servers sitting on physical servers. And the most common sort of virtual technologies are your VMwares, your Hyper-Vs, You've got Zen server, those sort of things. So making sure that all of your physical and virtual servers are maintained, are managed, and are running healthy. And of course, a lot of these servers are gonna be running specific applications that are server 
focused. So for example, running domain controllers, DNS, DHCP, NTP, Exchange, which is the email server, and a whole bunch of other server related technologies. And then of course, you've got the cloud. So the cloud, you could be talking about a lot of core technologies. Microsoft Azure, AWS, you got Google Cloud. They're generally the big ones. You've got even things such as Microsoft 365, and then you sort of lead into the next two topics, which are storage and networking. Storage being SAN and NAS. Storage area networks, network attached storage. And these are gonna be devices, racks worth of hard drives. You're gonna be able to set up RAID groups and storage pools and all this sort of stuff and you're sharing all of your data across a network. And then of course, all the networking technologies, which is sort of the glue that holds everything together. You've got your big things such as your firewalls, your switches, your routers, you've got load balances, you've got proxies, you've got all of these other technologies that fall under the networking umbrella. And the infrastructure manager needs to make sure that the network, the servers and the storage are all working correctly. They're responsible for making sure that it's up, that it's healthy, that it's secure. Now, of course, if there's an organization that has multiple sites, multiple offices, it could be interstate, it could be different countries, different regions. Well, all these different offices have to be connected somehow. There could be VPN links, there could be direct links. There's all of these sort of connections all fall under the infrastructure manager's responsibility. Now, all of this technology, they all sit in generally server rooms, comms rooms, data centers. Rooms that are dedicated for storing all this equipment. You've got server cabinets, you've got rails, you've got racks, and all the equipment racks into place. They need redundant power, you wanna make sure that they're kept cool, that there's proper air conditioning, that there's alarm systems, all of that needs to be managed, whether if it's inside the office that the infrastructure manager looks after, or whether if it's sitting at a data center somewhere. An infrastructure manager will be responsible for selecting, are they gonna be going on the cloud? Are they gonna be staying on premise? Are they gonna have a mix of both? What are the pros, what are the cons of each of the two? Now, of course, all of this needs to be secured, all of this needs to be backed up, all of this needs to be set up with proper redundancy, proper high availability, so that if one switch fails and all of these devices are plugged into it, another switch will be able to take its slack. So there you have it, infrastructure manager done. Do we do in the socials by liking, commenting, as I said, let me know down below if you're a tech, if you're a manager, if you're wanting to become a manager, subscribe, click on the button on the bell. I release videos all the time. I know that you'll find them helpful. Thank you so much for spending the time. We'll talk to you next time.